Nick Gallo, Bally Sports. Uh, Mark, just wanted to ask you about the the move to put Kenrich at center and the way that he was really able to help you maneuver offense through the middle of the floor. He had a career high ten assists. Yeah, he was great, obviously, with the passing. But um, I thought that first group was just super sharp. You know, to start the game, you know, you can't underestimate the power of getting off to a good start, and particularly coming off the road, uh, coming to a home game. Those are tough games, and um, I thought the guys. We had a great practice yesterday. Um, good shoot around this morning, and I thought we were just mentally ready uh, to play really, really well as soon as the ball went up in the air. And I give that starting group, all five of those guys, um, they they played re with great intensity and synergy to start the game and to start the third. They, Indiana, are one of the best um, second quarter teams in the NBA, one of the best second units. They threw a punch at you, but your response seemed to kind of put the game away. What did you think about the way that you guys handled the adversity after getting off to such a good start? Yeah, it's hard to play when you're up by 20, you know, um, for a lot of different reasons. The opponent's going to crank it up, which they tried to do, I thought, a couple different times, um, and that all the human nature things creep in. And so we didn't play a perfect game, but uh, there were a lot of good things, and we earned the win. How much fun are you either personally feeling or, or feeling through the players when you're seeing the cutting and the, the pinging the ball and the, the baseline cuts that end up in corner threes? Uh, I'm just glad that, you know, I think the, the team is growing uh, in confidence and the confidence is, is kind of a collective confidence. It's not like an individual player just playing on a ridiculous streak or anything like that. It's uh, the group is, is gaining confidence together. And, uh, you know, we want to be a team that, the whole is better than the sum of the parts, and that's one of the qualities that those teams have. And so, um, you know, that's that's the thing that I'm most pleased with. But, um, you know, these are new challenges now. We're going on the road playing two, you know, top teams in the West uh, on the road this weekend um, that are going to be ready to play against us. And so uh, we've got to get ourselves grounded and back to zero and uh, ready to take on those challenges. Uh, Pierce Austin, Bally Sports, wanted to get your thoughts on the defensive end of the floor for, for you guys throughout the night. 36 points off their turnovers, five guys with at least a block and, and a steal. Just what did you think of how that was able to kind of keep you afloat even when Indiana was throwing their punches throughout the night? Yeah, I thought we had, for the most part, we had great activity. We obviously had some lapses in the 48, but um, great activity, great intensity, like I said. I, I just thought that first group, you know, I can't say enough about how sharp we were to start the game. Uh, and we've talked about that. Uh, all season about the need to get off to good starts uh, and we did it coming off of like I said a, a road trip where you know we won a couple games and you know you're getting off the east coast and you know you're turning around it's the first time back in this building in you know seven or ten days or whatever and um, yeah I just thought the intensity and the sharpness the attention to detail and then the the synergy on offense to start the game just set a great tone for the night. Just speaking of that synergy on offense, 41 assists, and I know moving the ball is just a, a big key and, and a foundation to your offense overall, but did anything in particular stand out about about the way the ball was moving tonight particularly? Yeah, I thought the guys did a really good job, obviously. I mean, 41's an outlier, but um, some of it's the way you're getting guarded. They played a lot of zone tonight, and the way that they defend requires passing, and I thought the guys did a really good job of um, you know, taking what the defense gave. Uh, I thought there were some moments of the game where our attacks could have been better, our our plays could have been a little earlier, but for the most part, um, you know, we played in a nice rhythm to to together tonight. You said 41 assists is an outlier, but that's a franchise record. But 41 assists on 47 made shots, that's really good. Uh, yeah. You just talk about how good of good how good basketball, good of basketball you guys were playing. Yeah, again, I you know, you can't take away you know you can't like parse out how you're getting defended you know it's a team that makes you beat them with a pass and so that was that's a huge part of it you know there's some teams that make you beat you by you know driving the ball or whatever and so um that had something to do with it but to the credit of our players there was a recognition of that and i thought we stayed kind of in that zone for most of the night um and you know this group has been you know like i said it, they're gaining, you know, collective confidence and they're growing together and there's a chemistry that comes through that. And I think the passing and the cutting uh, and the, the connectivity on defense, the communication on defense, I think are all downstream from that. Is it sometimes a little tough to get lost in the fun that they, these guys are having as a coach? Like, does it like mention being happy and feeling good? Do you get, sometimes get lost in that? Um, I've. 
I try to stay pretty non-emotional because I think the game's emotional and, and, you know, that's for them to to experience, whether it's not, whether it's, you know, enjoyment or whether it's frustration, you know, I try to just stay pretty balanced there, but, um, I definitely, with how hard they work and how committed they are and the fact that they're, I think everybody on the team is trying to invest and play the right way. And when they enjoy that process, um, you know, we're happy to see that. And I speak for not only myself, I mean, that's everybody that works, you know, in the building. Yeah. Cliff Brun, Associated Press, Isaiah's Joe, 23 points, I believe 22 minutes, seven threes. Uh, the importance of the confidence level that he's playing with right now. Yeah, you know, I think his confidence comes from the fact that, um, you know, he hunts shots and he takes a very, you know, predictable diet of them. You know, he's got a very mature floor game for a guy that shoots it like that. He really doesn't take a lot of bad ones. He got one block tonight that I would consider, you know, a shot obviously that wasn't open, but um, he makes the right plays too. And, you know, I thought when he went back in the game in the fourth, obviously the game was, uh, the car was off the road a little bit there and his defense was what, you know, really changed the game. He got those two deflections at the nail. Um, and, you know, it just speaks to the fact that there's more to him than just the shot making, but obviously that's really potent and helps us. Andrew Schleck to The Athletic, uh, Lou Dort was kind of all over the place in a good way yep. in this game, really efficient on offense, rebounded like crazy. What did you think of his game? Uh, I thought he had a lot to do with the tone that we set early, him and Kemrich with the switching, and he had his chest on those guys uh, the majority of the night. And, you know, all five of those guys were good defensively early, but he always is a tone setter on that end of the floor. And then, um, you know, thought he was he was pretty solid offensively. You know, like he's we, it's well documented. His decision making is a work in progress, but um, I thought he took a lot of the right ones. He made a lot of the right plays. He had a couple that, you know, we probably want back, but – uh, he continues to show growth on that on the floor too. Seemed like you're trying to get a look at what Jay Will looked like as kind of the, the with the starters and pulling Ken Rich. What do you think of his minutes with those guys? Um, I mean, it was more with it had more to do with their big when they subbed uh, Turner out. Yeah, um, we went a little bit more conventional, so it wasn't as much you know seeing him with the that group. It was I thought he was good. You know, he's made some progress here. You know, he's just got to continue to hone a very predictable style of play on both ends of the floor. You know, he's got to be really solid in his coverages. I thought he had some good moments there tonight. And then offensively um, needs to be a floor spacer, ball mover, just like everybody else. And um, he's naturally conditioned to that. I think his, his natural strengths kind of are conducive with the way we play. Ron Stiles locked on Thunder. Coach, we talk about Kenny Hustle as a hustle player. Yep. But this year he's shooting a career high at all three levels. What have you seen from him offensively this year? Um, he's a rhythm player, you know, I, I don't think he overthinks it. Um, he just kind of gets lost in the game, but, um, some guys don't overthink it, but they're not as team oriented as him. And so then they need to think a little more, but when you're as selfless as he is, uh, he gets lost in the game and he gets lost in the team really, you know, and that's, I've said this many times about him, but we talk to our team about, you know, competing together and he is the ultimate compete together player. You know, he competes every night. Uh, regardless of the circumstances, and he does so inside the team. And so, um, you know, the shooting, I, you know, you can ask him. I can't really explain that away. But I know he's, he's just out there playing and getting lost in the team, lost in the game. Anyone else? Here, a couple in front here. James Jackson, Oklahoma. Josh Giddey has been, you know, been praised about his offense he's, he's done this year, more scoring. But he got back to his bread and butter of assists tonight. What do you think about how he passed the ball tonight? Yeah, I thought, you know, he definitely was moving it and, um, you know, got the assist, but also thought he thought he threw the simple ones too. Um, he got a little hasty at the beginning of the fourth, but other than that, I thought his floor game was outstanding and continues to defend at a really high level. You know, I think one of the, um, you know, we're t there's a lot made of starting Cambridge at the five and how small that position is, but you can't do that if you don't get size and physicality from the other spots and him, Shea, Dub, and Lou. Uh, are enabling us to do that and not get totally burnt by it. Um, and so I say all that to say his defense has been huge and has been a huge contributor to the fact that we've been able to throw some unconventional lineups on the floor um, because he's he's competing on defense and he's competing on the glass. Nick Galabali Sports. Uh, Isaiah, when you got a game with 41 assists, um, just what does that feel like on the floor, the way that the, the ball is zipping around and it seems like there's so much just energy behind the ball? Yeah, I mean, you said it right there. The ball has energy, and whenever we move the ball like that, we get really good looks, and we 
tend to make more shots, and it's just a, it's a fun way to play. And so just continue in the future. Hopefully we can just keep that rhythm going, keep the ball hopping, and make sure, you know, hey, you're in the right spot at the right time, be able to knock down shots and just keep the ball moving. You guys have talked about, as a team, getting off to better starts tonight, 17-1 to right out of the gates. Um, what's maybe been building towards this to, to be getting off to better starts? Because it seems to be... Um, kind of percolating over the last few weeks. Yeah, just uh, the work that we put in, the focus that we have. We know that's um, one thing that we've been, really been trying to work on is getting off to better starts. So to come out here in this game um, after you know having a little away stretch and just to come back in this first home game and get an early lead was um, it, it was really good for us, really good for our defense and offense. You know, energy wise, just being able to get the early jump. You had that flurry in the fourth where you hit the three, and you make back to back steals. You find Aaron for the the lob. Just what was it? like for you during that sequence no I mean it's just it's just all about all about energy you know we're out there having fun uh whenever you're playing hard getting steps getting stops and steals um making baskets it's just a fun way to play and then whenever you're getting stops on the defensive end it brings a lot of energy to the offensive end and so that's the way we, we played tonight and it, was, it was fun Paris Dawson Valley Sports um obviously you got going from behind the three-point line seven threes just where does your, your confidence kind of stem from when you step out there on the floor? Because you, you got going really early as you stepped yeah, in. Yeah, just the hours that I put in in the gym. You know, I feel like if you put the work in, um, whenever you step out on the court, you should have the utmost confidence and trust in your skills. So that's what I do each and every day. And then, you know, I give a lot of credit to my teammates because they do a really good job of finding me when I'm out there. And so just the trust that they have, the trust that the coaching staff and everybody else has, that also helps, you know, boost confidence, but mainly just the work that, that's put in behind it. And then just kind of piggybacking off next question, just specifically when it comes to the defense, you had a couple of steals, a block, but everybody was getting in on that action, 36 points off their turnovers. Just how, how contagious is it out there when like everybody seems to be being disruptive defensively? Yeah, it's, it's very contagious. You know, just being active on the defensive end, uh, when you see one person getting stops and just having that energy out there, it just kind of transfers on to the next person until the whole team is just, is just active and everybody has energy and everybody's getting stops and steals and blocks. And, you know, now we're pushing the transition, getting easy buckets. So that's definitely, definitely, you know, that brings a lot of energy to our team. Andrew Select of The Athletic, uh, Mark described you guys as having, like, a growing collective confidence. Can you f feel that when you step out on the court? Does it f do you guys feel any different than you did at the beginning of the season today? No, we're, we're definitely, you know, becoming a more confident team, becoming a more, you know, fun team to um, play with. Um, but, yeah, we just continue to work together. We continue to put a lot of hours in. And each and every game we try to focus more and more on all the little details. So definitely we're out there getting better each and every game and just building confidence. There's a lot of really good passers on this team up and down. What's it like as a shooter that can relocate and move around to play with this group specifically? Yeah, no, um, it, it's, 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 really, it's really fun. It's a fun way to play. Not only do we have good passers, but they're also willing passers, you know. Um, they draw on the defense and they make the right plays um, most of the time. So just being out there with those guys and ha them trusting me to, you know, knock down shots, they're going to continue to find me and my job is to, you know, keep making it rain. Isaiah, if the opportunity were to present itself, would you want to compete in the three-point contest? Oh, most definitely. Most definitely. I would not pass that up. Would you go in there like Larry Bird and look at everybody and say you're going to win it, or would you kind of go in there low-key? I wouldn't be going in there to do anything other than that. You know, if I was, I had the opportunity to do it, you know, put my best foot forward and, you know, try to win the whole thing, of course. Nick Gallo, Valley Sports. Uh, Mark earlier this week said that you guys, coming off the road trip, are just going to keep your heads down and, and focus on the work. What was the mentality like coming into the game tonight? Um, we need to keep going and not forget the stuff that that works, that got us to the point where we're at right now. And, um, yeah, it was big in, in yesterday's practice, and it was really sad that we just got to keep going and doing the same stuff that we've been doing, and uh, it's been good for us. You guys have talked about working on getting out to better starts throughout the course of the season. What does this feel like? to kind of seeing the work come in uh, over the course of time and then go out and, and really land a big punch to start this game? Oh, it feels good. I feel like it's always, it's always good to see improvements. And, uh, you know, there's some, it's some that we've really been big on. And to see that we're coming out and we're we doing better on that, it's, it's, it's huge. And then just you know, 41 assists as a team tonight. What's just the fun level out there on the floor when it's zipping around and, and everybody's getting in the mix? No, everything is. It's always good to see everybody get going. Um, the way we moved the ball, it, it was just great. We were just finding uh, the men open, and you know we made a lot of shots. So it's it's always good to play as a team.
Parasol and Valley Sports. Wanted to ask you about starting with Kenrich. You guys had the ability to switch out there. It seemed like you were able to set the tone defensively. Just yeah. what was that like having him out there? Uh, honestly, just having him out there, he sets the tone. <laughs> honestly, and I feel like it's I, I like it. Honestly, you know, it just it just gets everybody moving. You know what I mean? Just everybody talks, everybody's engaged, and uh, you know, it's just when you got guys that can guard like that, it's it's huge. And then just for the rest of the game, you guys were able to carry that energy just for 48 minutes. Everyone seemed to get involved defensively. Just what does that say uh, about this group and how you guys have grown um, on that We end? just just had to run through the finish line. And um, don't matter the scoreboard, uh, we just got to finish the game and play throughout the whole game, and we did a good job of that. Andrew Schlecht of The Athletic. Uh, you and Ben Matherin grew, growing up in Montreal, was it like playing against him at the NBA level? Uh, it, was, it was good. Well, we played in the same club. Either me or him would expect us to be here in the NBA and played against each other. So, you know, I we got our um, our coach that used to coach us back then, and uh, you know, it, it's, it's just big. You know, he's been doing so well too, and um, you know, he's definitely definitely gonna stay in the league for a long time. And you know, it was just big too, not not only for us but for the whole city of Montreal. Is he somebody that you like communicate with regularly? For sure, yeah, that's my brother. And um, you no, know, we stay in contact. We train in the summertime together, and uh, you know he came by the house. I, you know, we was chilling a little bit, watching some games, and you know it was, it, it was cool to see him. And then Mark talked about your like growing collective confidence together. Do you can you feel that as you like step out onto the court night after night, just like you guys growing as a group? Yeah, definitely. Confidence? Just the way that you know everybody is is comfortable, and the way we 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 moving the ball. You know, I feel like everybody's getting involved. Everybody is touching the ball, and you know, it just it, it brings a, a great result, you know, winning games. Um, back to Ben. Uh, talked to him before the game, and he talked about how much that relationship means to him. What does it mean to you? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, from where we grew up, it's, it was not easy, you know what I mean? And, you know, just to, to have each other's back and to be here to represent our people, Canada, Haiti, and Montreal, and it's just, it's just big. And... You know, we're going to keep doing that. And then he said those summer workouts, they weren't fun workouts, just the workout. He said they were, like, real tough. Nah, you know, we're going, really going at each other. How did He said it helped him a lot going against one of the best defenders in the league. How did that help you? Uh, well, he's a he's a, he's a a bucket. You know what I mean? He's a scorer, and he's he's been like that. And um, that was um, right before he went to his second year in Arizona. And uh, I told him, if you – able to score like that on me. Like, you going out there and you're going to crush your second year at Arizona, at Arizona, and he did it. And, you know, that's why, you know, he came out. He was a lottery pick, and, you know, he's, he just keeps improving, and it's good because, you know, he's a good scorer, and I'm a good defender, so it's just good to, you and know, work together. He, he told me to make sure I ask about all the buckets he gave you. And asked yeah, he true. gave he did give me a lot of buckets. He did some games that I lost, I'll, I'll be honest. Yeah, <laughs> he did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lou, most nights you're guarding the other team's best um, initiator, primary ball handler, anything like that. Tonight you get a different assignment, not a guy like Buddy Heald who plays more off the ball. What type of challenge is that guarding a little bit differently? Uh, it's, it's tough still. You know, he's a he's a great shooter. You know, he's he's moving a lot off the ball. He's really looking for a shot. So um, I, had, I just had to stay aware and, you know, making sure I know where he's at because he's moving so much. So, um, you know, it was still a big challenge for me. And, um you know, you know, it's just good to go against guys like that. And then speaking of three-point defense, um, you get a lot of good contests on guys. A lot of guys just try to get a hand in the face. I've noticed something with you. You get a hand in the guy's face and then, like, abruptly, like, rip your arm out of the way. How long have you been doing that? And, like, what? when did that start? Uh, I've been – I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just be trying some stuff to just <laughs> mess up the dude's shot. So, um, but, yeah, um, you know, I just trying to mess up the, the shot. You know, any any contest I can I can do, I'll do it. Nick Gallo, Valley Sports. Uh, show you guys all coming off the road trip. Kind of talked about just keeping your heads down. Uh, wh what did you think the mentality and approach was heading into this game? Um, just in terms of the the attitude and focus that you had. Yeah. Um, the games that we want are behind us. Um, we got to try to get another win tonight. Um, I think as a group, we're just focused on getting better and winning games. Um, I'm going to think it's paid off.
How did it feel to be so sharp as a team coming right out of the gates tonight? Yeah, it felt good. Um, we had a, a, a pretty good practice, I would say, yesterday. Um, that was pretty sharp. Um, and I think shoot around this morning was good as well. Um, I think we were prepared tonight. Um, and I think we had the right mindset, and, and it showed. When you got 41 assists as a team, can you pick out the most fun one or, or a few moments that, uh, that were really fun out there? Because it just seemed like it was, it was really contagious. Yeah, um, I feel like we, we, we did have a lot of fun tonight. Um, and it usually is so when, you, when you're winning like that. Um, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I, I couldn't pick a moment, um, but we, we had a lot of good, good minutes and we strung together some good minutes tonight for sure. Paris Austin Valley Sports, the defense seemed to add to the, to the fun for you all tonight. Everybody seemed to get in on, on that action. Just how, how critical was that element of the game, especially when Indiana tried to throw their punches throughout the night? Yeah, um, it always starts with defense, um, especially for us. we got to get stops. Um, and then we're able to, to play basketball the way we want to, fast and transition um, and really space the floor. But it starts with stops, and we got a good amount tonight for sure. And we talk about Kenrich all the time and just like the hustle and intensity that he brings to the game. He was dishing the ball out tonight, 10 assists for him. Just what did he bring to you guys in terms of just his facilitating tonight? Yeah, um, Kenrich is a hooper. Um, he's going to do whatever it takes every night. Um, if he needs to grab 15 rebounds, he'll do so. If he needs to take five charges, he'll do so. If he needs 10 assists like tonight, he'll do so. Um, he's, he's an A-plus glue guy for our team. Um, and he, he gets the ball rolling. He was that tonight. Andrew Schlecht of The Athletic, there were six total players um, out of Canada playing in this game. Not everybody played, but at least on both rosters. Like, uh, How much does that excite you as being like one of like the, the leaders for like the Canadian national team? Yeah, um, it's pretty cool um, seeing guys you grew up with, played against, um, kind of coming from the same areas you came from. Um, and when we were kids, it was kind of like far-fetched. It wasn't like something that you could really do. Um, just to see that it's happening more and more is, is a good feeling. It's fun. And then al almost everybody's talked about this practice from yesterday. Can you share any more about it? Like what made it so impactful to your group? Um, we just we just like we were we kind of got up and down a little bit, um, and I think like especially this time of the year, um, guys tend to like kind of take their foot off the gas in practices um, and kind of reserve themselves for games. But I think we had a, a really productive, not completely live, but like quarter live practice um, and really got to work on some things and they showed up tonight. And then can you can you feel like the, the collective confidence growing? Mark mentioned that post game. Is that something that you can feel like as a group stepping onto the floor? Yeah. Um, I always thought we were confident. Um, I just it was just a matter of time before it, the, the the switch flipped. Um, it's so many games that we know we could have got and lost and, and vice versa. Um, and this group has always been super confident. We were just stringing together and, and figuring it out more. Uh, Mark talked about how you have been injecting confidence into your teammates, and it seemed like it's showing more and more lately. How important is that to you? Yeah. Um, I'm super competitive. Um, it's gonna seem a little bit selfish, but I know, like for for, I'm super competitive. I want to win a lot, and for us to win, we need all guys. Um, and and I I found that on teams when guys are confident and believe in themselves, you get the best out of them. Um, so I for me that's a must. That's something that the guy next to me needs to think he's as good as me, or maybe not that extent, but he needs to think he's the best player on the floor, um, and you get the best out of guys. Guys are confident. They do things decisive, and, and that's when you see the best versions of guys. Anybody else? Last one in the front. For a long time, you were considered one of the more underrated players in the NBA, but now you're getting a lot more attention from national media pundits. I mean, you're fourth in all-star voting among guards in the West. Um, you're getting talked about on TNT and ESPN, even if they're getting your name wrong. But just what does it mean to you to, I guess, be in a different category, I guess, among players where you're in like MVP to all NBA discussions? Um, it's cool and the stuff like you dream about, but like, I don't like, I don't get no feeling off of it. Um, I don't worry about it. I don't focus on it. Um, I just try to stay inside the four walls and wherever that takes me and, and this team at the end of the year, we'll see.